Hi, my name is Željko Kovačević and today I'll talk about creating a POP3 email client application. So, uh, we are going to uh, use Indie components. Uh, the first one is the ID POP3 uh, Indie uh, client component and we will use it to uh, connect to our email host using uh, username and password information. Uh, this component will be used uh, to download email messages to our computer and to show it eventually in our email client application. Uh, we will also use this uh, TID message component and we will use it to temporarily store uh, email messages. Okay, so as we can see this is a simple uh, user interface. Uh, we will uh, show the basic information of our email uh, messages in this T list box. Uh, we will show, for example, subject and who is it from and we will use this team memo component to show a, a body of uh, email message actually a text so let's begin the first thing we need to do is to fill uh, all required information and that is actually like we said host uh, where we want to connect with our uh, pop3 uh, component and specify username and password. Host is uh, located in a host text edit. We will specify a new username. And password information. Okay, and now we can connect. So, uh, when we connect, the first thing we must do is to uh, check how many uh, unread messages do we have. So, we'll store that information in, for example, message count. And to get it, we will actually use my pop free check messages. So this method will actually uh, check how many new messages are there and return it to us. And now we will retrieve all of these messages. Uh, to retrieve all of these messages we will use uh, again my pop free component and method retrieve. So the first uh, parameter is actually a message number. That is I and where, we, where do we want to store our email messages and that is in this component. Okay and now when email message is stored we want to uh, show some basic information about that email message in this uh, list box. So we'll say and its name is uh, email list items add and what we are going to add is uh, E message subject and uh, who is it from? Okay, and we disconnect. So let's actually test it. I'll use my old email account. Let's try to connect and we see there is one test message from myself. So actually let's see. 
as we can see uh, this is actually true and now we got our uh, email messages in this uh, list box so uh, the next uh, step uh, that we are going to do is uh, when double clicking this uh, T list box that we actually open a text message and show its content in this uh, memo field so the first thing we will do is actually to add events uh, we'll use double click event and here we, we must say that we want to view the content of our email message actually to save time I'm going to simply uh, copy paste my code uh, this is actually going to execute when double clicking these, this uh, till this box uh, actually when double clicking uh, the selected mail so what actually happens uh, we will clear the memo field and we will retrieve the selected mail and uh, this part is very important because uh, email message uh, has several parts for example uh, one part can be uh, text plain format a second part can be actually attachment or some file and we will we need to uh, uh, we need to actually see uh, which part uh, of the message is actually text, uh, which part is attachment uh, or so. So uh, actually we are going to uh, check this email uh, e-message, message parts, items, contact type. That is actually uh, a string and we will uh, check if there is a text plane uh, uh, specified to use this uh, method uh, ANSI contains string we need to uh, use this header str utils okay so uh, what we are going to do is uh, check all email parts and if uh, in those email parts is a text plain uh, content then we will simply uh, use uh, this uh, TID text uh, object and use uh, and and we will use actually dynamic cast to uh, convert this uh, part of the message to uh, e-text why because uh, we need to uh, use uh, its body actually body contains the message so let's actually test it double click and this is it this is a test email message as we can open here it is the same thing okay and uh, of course if you have uh, any other uh, message type uh, you can use for example for attachments you can use this type of pointer and actually save the file on uh, locally on your hard drive Okay, this is uh, pretty much it. Uh, if you have any questions, please be free to ask and thank you for watching. See you next time.